Hey everybody, it's PC here and welcome to another episode of Captain of Industry. And I have done a little bit of work after the last episode. Uh, I tried to get all things going a little bit more a little more efficiently. Um, as you can see the everything's all backed up here. That's because our storage is full. So we're gonna start using that. Uh, one of the things I wanna do today is actually start getting some uh, full on production of the parts. Now I've been looking at what there actually is and there's really only three basic things that, I, that need to be made there's construction parts which is iron wood and concrete there is mechanical parts which is straight iron and then there is electronics which is rubber and copper now there is multi-level uh, manufacturing because construction part tier one construction parts tier one go into construction parts tier two uh, but there is tier three which requires tier two, which requires tier one. As you can see from here, you get a four. You need eight to get four out of here. And I think it goes even further down the line. I'm not a hundred percent sure. I start looking through this and I just start getting so confused about everything that's possible. Like, uh, I, we get an air separate, was it an air separator? We can get hydrogen, oxygen, and uh, we can turn that take uh, make brine turn that into chlorine there's sulfuric acid in here there's uh nitrogen i have no idea what i used the nitrogen for i'm guessing it goes into the fertilizer yeah ammonia nitrogen and water makes fertilizer hydrogen and nitrogen makes ammonia so yeah lots of fun stuff uh, it gets quite in depth uh there's there's a sulfur processing uh, i can't actually make it i take sour water uh, with steam and it gives me sulfur now the sour water comes from where did that come from that was i think it was in the steel manufacturer no it wasn't now, sour water would have been from somewhere in here there we go in the diesel so then i would have to take crude oil with steam it makes medium oil light oil and heavy oil the medium oil and steam makes diesel uh, I don't know what I do with the light oil. I think I can... Yeah. Oh, yeah. They have this here. A little recipe book. So I can show you all the things that you can do with the thing and how to make it and all that stuff. And yeah, it's uh, quite a long route. Uh, we do have a surplus of iron. So what we're going to do is I did find another another cargo ship. I'd like to get two of them because we got one docked over at the item spot. So let's take... That one needs copper as well. But we'll go and repair this one. Okay. Uh, actually, I wonder if I gotta go over here. Uh, start loading damage cargo ship because I load, loaded up the other one. Uh, what else? Also, what I've been doing. Uh, I'm actually gonna speed this up so that you can finish. Is I set up a mining control down, tower down here, and I've got him to basically flatten the land. I figured out how all this stuff actually works. Um, uh, as far as like the mining the dumping and stuff like that so basically i want to level up the ground so all i do is put a uh, mine tower down here and i set the land the level in the land and which would be ground level for instance the reason why i'm doing this is i was trying to place a farm down and it wouldn't let me place it here and it's because of this little patch right here and i think there was a a small little chunk somewhere else so what i did is i just had to go, go to ground level which is uh two and i just went to go lay it flat and he stops right here and that's what i'll do and then i want to do a test too i want to set up another one over here well i should do this right now go to uh mind control tower uh this one we'll just put it over here this is what i want to do is i want to see if i can actually fill this land in so let's go ahead and edit the area and then uh, it only needs to be to about here i think this is just going to be a dumping area. No, let's not do that there. Let's do... I want to see how I can actually reclaim the area. That's what i got to do. i got to edit area again. Alright. And if I do that... And nothing can be dumped here but dirt. I don't need to sign any trucks or anything like that. That's just going to be that. And I actually have to set a dumping zone. Uh, right now I have it set to an angle. So we make it flat. And I'll go to the height of this terrain here and I just do this and it should as far as I know fill this in with any dirt any dirt that gets comes out of the mines it's gonna go right here it's not, not gonna it's gonna completely ignore those because it's just a dumping area nothing more so any trucks that come in with dirt from here or there or over here it's gonna come right over here and dump it there 
And then what I do on this one is I'm actually going to disable this. Uh, maybe what I'll do, it's uh, turn dumping off on this. Uh, let's actually build another excavator while I'm doing this because I'm going to get another, ex another excavator here to actually level all this dirt out. There we go, they're now actually cured up. And it's going to move all the dirt over there and see if we can fill that area in. The reason why I want doing that is because from what I've seen, I'm going to need a lot of manufacturing. So I'm basically going to have to use this entire area. Uh, what else do I do? I got rid of this over here. And uh, let me get this started first. All right, so this is currently a, a, a dump site. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to avoid all that. And we're going to turn it into a mine site. Nope, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, I'll fix it later. Uh, okay, and then I'm gonna go into a mining area, and I'm just gonna level it, just like so. So now, once the excavator's done, I assign it to that. I give them two trucks for now, and I also looked into a little more about uh, about doing stuff like this. Apparently, it can actually collapse. So. Uh, it was saying over five blocks high has a chance of collapsing. I don't know if I can actually bury the excavator or not, but uh, that is that. Okay, so you are waiting for the excavator, which is ready. So we do that, and maintenance depot too. Now, I, I should research that because I wanted to... Uh, oh, that's not it. Upgrade it, because right now we're making 36 at a time. If I upgrade it, it allows me to make 100, 100, oh, so 168 or something at a time. So I wanna, I'm sure we can go ahead and we'll just actually spend the Unity. Uh, Unity, I actually looked into a little more. Unity is all dependent on our sell, my settlement. Uh, the Unity that I gain every month depends on their happiness and the services I provide. And already I can see it's changed, so I'm going to pause it right now. Now what I originally had done is uh, move this out of the way for now, see if we can zoom in. Uh, I added water and I added power to the actual settlement and what that's doing is that's giving me a unity boost so currently I'm gaining 4.58 unity per month unity is basically just points for spending on things like speeding things up or doing instant repairs or doing what I did with uh, the upgrade on the maintenance depot and that's just automatically transporting the goods there as long as I have them in stock now if something breaks down and I don't have let's say maintenance parts to fix it then I can use a Unity to quickly repair a machine or a vehicle so I can get production going again. So it's it's kind of, I wouldn't say a currency, but it's a lot, it gives you something to do that helps you, gives you something that helps you get out of bad situations. So it's always good to keep your colony happy and you're a good deal. All right, so uh, let's continue on with this. And now, uh, what I want, did want to do is, is this ship ready? Yes, it is. It is done. I believe it is done. Uh, no, it's waiting for cargo. Oh, this thing is overloaded. Uh, I think I get some better storage. Uh, let's see if I can actually send this off and get repair this ship now. Deliver cargo. Wait, did I have all two? Oh yeah, it's got 240 on I didn't see that. Okay, uh, also, I uh, don't know if I showed, but I got that concrete production up and running again, a little bit better. Uh, I doubled it up and I did the same thing with the kilns. I put two more kilns in here. I did make a bit of a boo-boo a when I was setting up the coal conveyor here. I kind of hooked it back up into this pipe here. <laughs> so I was feeding limestone and limestone in there and I was unable to do it. Uh, what was that? Not enough maintenance. Uh, oh yeah, we're upgrading maintenance depot right now. Uh, how far? How long do we have left on that? Uh, oh, it's working now. All right, so the cargo has been delivered. So let's go over there and it's repairing the ship. And that's going to come back to here. And then we're going to go and repair this uh, this oil rig. Okay, you have to come home. And there it is. Okay. So now, this is actually going to go and get us uh, crude oil from the oil rig once I get it uh, filled up or repaired. What I was actually going to do is, because I got the liquid storage here. Now, I've got the refineries already over here. So, I might as well bring the crude oil over here. 
So I'm gonna demolish that if I can. Okay. And then I'm actually gonna take this one out too. I'll put the items over on the other side. Uh, cargo fluid module. As soon as these guys hurry up. Uh, as you can see, I uh, had to deal with the power situation too because it was getting a little out of control. I might have to, I might have to add more later on just because of the machines that I'll be adding. What? Oh yeah, I was trying to figure out what that noise was, and I realized it was the, the poop water we were dumping. Uh, okay, small excavator. Has no reachable train track. Oh, it's done mining. Okay, well, you're done. You're done, and we can dismantle that. All right, now go do something else. Actually, you know what? Must go. Oh, he didn't flatten that area. Anyway, uh, let me deal with this and I'll be right back. Okay, well, I got them set up, so I think now's a good time. To, now is a good time to get a few things going. So, ship's back. Uh, let's see if I can go ahead and fix up that, that oil rig. If I can click on the ship, I think I need. No. Uh, ah, that's right, I have to click that. Start loading the ship. I have plenty in stock. Yes. All right. So, um, what I wanted to do actually, the reason why I was clean, clearing this out is I actually wanted to rebuild the farms. Now I do have uh, some food supply currently. Um, the reason why I want to do this is because now that we're starting to get a little more advanced in the population, they're going to start caring about the amount of food that they eat. And as you can see right now, the potatoes are just giving 0.18 unity. If I start giving them I think what was the next on the on the list I believe was what are they doing? Vegetable farming. So if I do vegetable farming it adds another 0.24 unity. Uh, I don't know if that's a percentage or I don't know if that's a percentage or if that's an overall amount. I think it's just an overall amount. So as you can see, if I give them a full amount of a full variety of food, then they're happier. And that also goes the same with providing them with household good goods, household appliances, and consumer electronics, which I have big values, but I haven't even gotten into them yet. And hospitals apparently is a thing now, too. I don't know if I actually have anything. We do have... Oh, that's not it. Uh, let's see if they actually have anything here unlocked. Uh, services. Uh, no hospital yet. Uh, there's going to be a second food market I got to get. That's actually going to be able to hold more than one type of food. Currently, this only has one. Uh, the next one I have queued up. Uh, so I'm doing vegetable farming right now, and after that I was going to get the food market t uh, two, and it says multiple types. I don't know if that's just going to be two or three or or what. And then where was I going after that? I think that was just those two. And then I think wasn't 100 percent sure I was going after that. Maybe the advanced diesel. Uh, or even steel. And steel's actually fairly easy. It's just uh, molten iron and oxygen gives me steel. And I get the uh, air separator. It gives me oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, hydrogen, what do I do with this? Uh, hydrogen can be dumped, made with ammonia to make water, to make fertilizer. Okay. Uh, I can make liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen plus steel. Interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. So we'll have to save that or dispose of it or something like that. Anyway, uh, what was going on here? Uh, we do got to get this going a little bit faster. What is having the trouble here? Output. Okay, full output. And what is your problem? Uh, oh, mechanical parts. All right, well. As you can see, we're having trouble, so let's just go ahead and start building. Uh, I was going to move the farm, so... Uh, we'll take out... Yeah, I think we'll, I'm going to take... Because they're irrigated now, too. Uh, let's take a... Oh, I hope I didn't take something out by mistake. Okay, we'll take those two out. And then when I go here, I'm going to go to Irrigated Farm. I'm going to rotate it like that. And then, oh, I was going to put a second one there. But yeah, I was 
some ground is not farmable. What? Really? I wonder if I have to dig this out and fill it in. You know what? Let's just do this. Just for, just for uh, the sake of it. This is actually something I'm curious about. So if I do that. Okay. Uh, oh, I don't have an available excavator yet. Let's take you off the job for now. And I'll put you over here. And we'll add a couple of trucks. Okay. And then we go to mine area. And now. Let's see if. going on here. Ah, I'm saying too deep. Let me see if I can figure this out. Oh, that's why I gotta go higher up maybe. Hmm, let me figure this out. Okay, I think I got it. Um, for some reason, I had to start with a flat area. Somewhere in here, I had to start with a flat area and then do it, and it seemed to work. Like right here, I had to start with that spot, and then for some reason, it would, I don't know. It was acting kind of weird, I had to do that, and then come from the side, and then I could actually get the ramp in there to do that. Uh, let's see if I can clear some of these areas out, because I don't want to clear everything out. Uh, hmm. Let me work on this, I'll be right back. Okay, I think I got something fi figured out. It seems to kind of work. You should, but I think it's basically going to come through here and dig all his way through there. But what I've been doing, I've been noticing it is actually filling it in. I'm wondering if they're actually going to fill the whole area in completely. It looks like it will. That's actually really cool. So you might be able to dig out like a hillside or something and build yourself a little jetty out, out into the water. So that's actually really cool. I like that. Uh, landfill is starting to fill up. I had to put a second layer on it. I don't know if you can see that already, but it's getting up there. So I'll have to get the burner eventually. And I'm wondering if we'd be able to. Um, what was it? What was I going to say? Generate power off it. Yes. Use it, use it in a boiler. Okay, you, you trucks don't have anything to do, so that's doing that. So let's go ahead and pause this. Let's actually go to the map and see if that oil rig is fixed yet. Did you not load? Oh, I guess you did. Alright, well, let's go send that off. Deliver cargo. Let that go. And also, uh, apparently when you actually revisit the place where the enemies tells you where you go, and you actually send off to go to battle, so you can't just get suddenly attacked. So that is doing its thing. So now, uh, I want to actually see if this guy finishes up. He does. Let's actually stop for a second, because... Why are you... Oh. Waiting for a truck. I had a few more trucks. These guys are just sitting there. Actually. Get you off of there. That's why I was taking so long. Alright, now... Um, yeah, as far as the, the, the planning mode goes... Uh, what that was is... That that's actually... It pauses the actual build of the, the actual thing you're placing so you keep things running like this and the trucks don't get occupied building stuff until you say okay now you will build it so that's how it works what is your problem um, oh won't deliver oh you got potatoes okay never mind uh, so now I'm going to try to figure out a layout of how I'm going to get everything produced because I know things are going to get super multi-level. Oh, we were at the oil rig. And there is our oil rig. Oh, look at that. It's actually producing. How much is it producing? Enough. It's going to fill. Oh, there we go. It'll hold 1,000. And there's 200 and... Oh, wow. There's 2 million barrels there. 3,000 years of oil. Perfect. Okay. Send you home. And now, what I was... What I read was... You take the ship and you actually give it a contract. 
it's in here. Now, where do I... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. It was somewhere. Where was it? I don't know. We'll figure it out when the time comes. And you are done. Alright, so now for the automation. Or the factory. And we'll let them do their little thing. So, it was going to be... We're going to need a lot of mechanical parts. And I mean a lot of mechanical parts. We're going to need a lot of construction parts. And we're going to need... A lot of electronics. So let me lay something out and we'll go from there. Okay, so here I got, I basically have everything more or less being mass produced. I have construct tier one construction parts. I'm gonna have three containers full of them, uh, three large ones. Uh, I got th two separate lines here creating uh, tier two construction materials, but they're all gonna go into the same storage. The reason why I'm making a lot of these is because I'm going to be needing these for the tier 3 when we get to it, so may as well have them. And uh, this one's making mechanical parts, this one is going to be making electronics, uh, this one is going to be making lab equipment, this one's going to be making vehicle parts. And so now it's just a matter of getting all that built. I do have to remove all this stuff out of the way and just get everything connected. So let's go ahead and get this taken care of. And I forgot to mention too, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to take any available trucks I have on, off the job. So this is just a mining area. So let's go ahead and pause this. We'll take these two guys off. And I'm going to do the same here. Uh, there's no trucks actually being assigned here. Uh, no trucks being assigned here. Uh, here we'll pause you, take, oh, we'll take them off so I can get as many drivers as I can. Uh, food is holding up for now. I haven't really done too much with it. Uh, I go ahead and actually upgrade this while we're at it. Uh, instant delivery, and we'll make that priority. And uh, let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Oh, yeah. Uh, eventually, I do have to get this set up into a storage facility. I might actually, I'm thinking about going just along here. I might actually do that. So we'll just put a. Is that an item storage? Yes, it is. Alright. And. Just put that right along here. Uh, that was actually the wrong way. Don't need too many because we're going to be going through a lot of rubber. I'll probably have to upgrade that. That can significantly. I'm sorry about that. All right. And um, now we just need flat conveyor. Go over here. Come out with you like so. Uh, just finish that off there. So, and I'm still in planning mode, I'm aware of that. Uh, hmm. Do I have room under there for another conveyor? I do, but it's on the other side. Uh, it's actually... Let's utilize that, shall we? Uh, let's take... I uh, actually like that, you can actually right click, uh, click and drag, but you gotta make sure you don't take anything else out with it. Uh, fortunately, if you go into dismantle something, if you open up the GUI, or not with that, hang on. If you open this up, you can actually pause de uh, demolishing inside here, so that actually comes in handy. Uh, but anyways, uh, so what I want to do, do this. Uh, let's do this right here. Uh, start from here, come to here. And then we'll line that up with you. You can come out and do oops, not there. All right, let's try this again. Oh wow, it actually keeps that turning there, so you gotta dismant uh, demolish that too. There we go. Takes a, a little bit to update. Now I think I should be able to raise it up here. Yes. Go here and go back one. We'll drop it down. Oops, that's the wrong way. That'll work right there. All right, now we'll take this off pause. And is that stuff pause? No, it's not. 
Uh, okay, let's uh, do a nice view of this, see if we can get a better shot of it this time. Uh, going to F11, I know we don't have maintenance, because we don't have any parts for it, but let's watch this all build. Okay, well that wasn't working out too well the way I, want, what I had planned, because uh, again, we were having uh, tier 2 construction part issues. So anyways, let's go back over here and see what's going on. Why is this guy not taking this out? Uh, let's see if we can do that. Oh. Oh, I know why. One, it's paused. And two, he doesn't have a truck. Yeah, what are you doing again? What are you doing? You're digging over there. Oh, okay. And I'll show you actually, as you can see, it's highlighted before, before he digs, and then he digs and it grays out, so it lets you know it's done. Alright, so that is that how we're doing over here. Uh, oh, let's get that off before I do something wrong. Uh, have we researched anything? We got vegetable farming. Alright, so that means I can go in here and I can actually change the, the, the recipe. And there's also crop rotation, so I can specify, okay, we do this one month and we do another one this month. Do we actually have to, oh, this has to be certain leaf, uh, so fertile. And I think crop rotation is an automatic thing, I'm not 100% sure, we'll worry about that later. Uh, what I do want to see, see is if this is going to be done. I want to see if I can get all the, the rock out of here. I think we need to... Oh. Uh, no. We do that. And then I think if I replace that with dirt, then I should be able to get uh, fertile sand. Fertile soil. So we can actually plant. And again, everything's waiting on these. And I got these boosted construction. I got that one. I switched this one over to... Uh, mechanical part tier twos as well. Uh, I might actually have to boost production on these ones as well. And since I have the unity, I might as well be using it, right? We do have the spare. Uh, let's check the tree situation. Okay, you're almost done here, so oh, let's get you to clear out this area. Just because that's where we're going to be a massive oil refinery. All right, that is going, and uh, you are almost done. Yeah, I love the little animations. Actually, we'll go watch it go around and work. I probably took up more than I needed to, but yeah, that is that. All right, so I think we need to add another light pile onto the slag pile, or add another layer onto the slag pile. Then again, I start on the edge, I click up once, and it'll automatically create the slope. And if I switch it to... Uh, why is it not working? Oh, maybe... Maybe I got... Uh, hang on. No. This develop position. Not let me do anything to this. Why? I, I gotta let me figure this out. Okay, I think I figured it out. I had to start with this first, and I would go over here. It'll actually give me a four, and then I would drag over there, and then it should connect. Uh, I do believe that anywhere that's red, it might spill over like it has done, like on the sides here. As you can see, the mining areas, or the dumping areas up here, would actually falls down. So I think that's all it is. And as you can see, they're already dumping slide there. So they got no room for it. Alright, so, you should be done. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll clear. Uh, no, we won't clear that. We will clear... Clear that out. Now you're going to be a dumping area. I'm going to actually go here. Actually, get out of this menu. Go here, and the only thing that can be dumped here is dirt. Nothing more. I can get rid of the excavator. You don't need you here. And trucks can go. 
So now this is just going to be a designated dumping area for dirt only. And start level. And like so. Oh. Like that. And now I need a place to dig dirt. Over here. Unpause you. Add a couple of trucks. And look at that. The assemblers are almost done. So now I should fill this in area in with dirt and I can build another farm. At least. That's the theory. Uh, let's go check on our oil rig. How's this doing? Uh, well, looks like we have a full full load going. So let's go ahead and... Wait. Where are you going? That you were supposed to go. Nothing to pick up. There's some way I can pick up orders. Let me figure this out. I see. It already went and came back. And this is already full. So let's actually get some fluid storage while well, everything else is going. Maintenance again is nothing going on there. Uh, fluid storage. No, that's not it. Fluid storage here too. And then we'll just go ahead and connect a whole bunch of these together. in the way that would make sense okay now a pipe let's connect them both up just because oh wait you're not even connected all right well let me figure this out and by figure it out i mean straighten it out all right now i also want to check on these oil these pumps here and see how they're doing there's still got a little ways to go. Uh, we do have a major surplus of oil, so we'll probably... I guess we'll keep those going for now. We'll probably have to up the rubber production eventually. And we are not done there yet. Okay, and... What are you waiting on? You were waiting on... Well, you shouldn't be mining. Uh, hold on, where are you assigned? Assigned to. Anyway, uh, that is that. So let's just uh, all right. Fine. We'll just send you to the depot. We don't need you here anymore. What I do need is these trucks. Actually, probably not dumping here because I got to pause that. So now they're going to go dump over here first. All right, what was that? Food market 2 is done. Good. So we can go ahead and actually start upgrading that. Get that out of the way. And see what's next in the research tree. Now, I haven't really decided what there is. There's this that gets us more materials back from the deconstruction, but I don't think that's really necessary. I might get into steel. Uh, or even possibly advanced diesel. Possibly. I think I needed that sour water for something. Uh, there's the salination plants, burners. Uh, you know what? Let's start with the burner. And then I think maybe... I'm not going to worry too much about stuff like this because it's not urgent at the moment, I don't think. There is mechanical power. Uh, but mechanical power... What was this all about again? Oh yeah, for generating power, but we gotta use coal for that. I don't want to use coal if I don't have to, because that's a limited resource. I'd also like to get into this too, where I can tell and create routes for trucks. So maybe we'll add that, and then we'll add that. And then next stop for storage, it's gonna be way up there. But I do know we'll have to start getting steel eventually. Um, 
ships all depend on advanced diesel, which is research, so we'll do that next, and then we'll start worrying about the ships after that. Speaking of ships, uh, you can... can you explore? You can. Which one should we take? Let's actually see what's in the middle here. And we are almost done here. Everything is uh, already configured on the storage. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to... I'm going to pause all this. Yeah, I'm going to pause all this and I'm going to actually empty these storages out. And oh my god, we're out of power already. How did I not see that coming? Alright, that means we're going to build another generator. Good thing we're making diesel. Lots of it. Uh, this is like the fourth one now I've put in. Now i got to find a place to patch this one in. And... Where did I put the last one? Put the last one over here. So let's... Let's do this one over here as well. Just because we can. And, uh, of course, it's a pirate battle. Oh, why did you not connect? more ships yes so that was a bad idea can I explore here no I can't let's go home take you back and where are we okay uh, sort of back on track these guys need to, I think need to be boosted and we are done so let me clear all this out and we'll get all this stuff hooked up and we'll get it all up and running okay so everything is all taken apart I've got to pause for a moment because now we, I get to figure out the conveyor situation now basically I gotta get my flat conveyors and my u-shaped conveyors going into these and that is going to be fun because uh, everything's got its own input and yeah so uh, I'll bring you back when the rat's nest is done okay I am back and I uh, did have a few issues one of them happened to be a food problem uh, I go and build the third farm and even though I'm producing a lot of food and I had food in here for some reason uh, the, we lost a few colonists uh, apparently what I forgot to do is I go and I add the second food market I actually forgot to add the vegetables so uh, yeah so now they're actually getting us a little bit more unity a little bit more happier more people are showing up uh, this has been going good, had problems with the landfill, we'll probably have to get the burner set up. We have gotten a whole bunch of stuff already completed on the research. Uh, we got the burner done, we got the vegetables, uh, I can't remember what else we were doing, but uh, we're doing advanced diesel right now. Now, I think it's the, after this, we're going to start work going in towards, uh, possibly steel, actually. I want to steel so we can get into the, the faster assemblers. We'll do that and then we'll probably start getting the, the, the ship stuff start decking out our ships a little bit oh, oh i hit d and for some reason i went quiet anyway so we go back in there so this is the setup it is slowly running um you know i thought this would have gone, gone a little bit better i have what is a hold up right now it is processing time on here uh, it took a long time to get this all set up I needed so many of these tier 2 construction components to make all these conveyors and it is slowly going and uh, yes I do mean slowly but we are starting to get a stockpile uh, I got the advanced logistics set up now this is actually quite interesting it allows me to actually specify which where trucks should be delivering goods from from here so I can go from here and say all right, you're only going to be delivering to here but it's not going to work that way because that's item to loose but you know what I mean I can go and uh, connect to another storage that isn't already set up but uh, for instance what do I have in here vehicle parts so I can actually set up a route to go from here and get right to vehicle depot uh, I guess 
That's a bad example. Uh, here's a good example. Uh, mechanical parts and electronics. Uh, mechanical parts are going to be in one of these. And here. So I go here and set a route to this. Why is it not letting me do it? Wait, do I not have trucks? Do I have to assign a truck to it? I do. That's why. Alright. So assign a truck. And then I should be able to do this. Why is this not working? Let me look at this. Okay, I think I know what this is. it is. I think it's all about, like, if I have... If I set up another storage down here and set this to electronics as well, and I specifically only assign one truck from here for that storage to another storage, that truck is the only truck that's allowed to actually put anything into that particular storage unit. At least that's what I think is what it's saying. Because if I do the same thing with uh, mechanical parts, it doesn't let me actually connect there, but it, for instance, that I could. Uh, and here is a storage, so if if I go here, for instance, I can actually set a route from this storage to this. If I assign a truck to it, maybe. Hmm. Uh, again, let me look. Okay, I first of all, I see what I was doing on. Let's actually get this started again. First of all, uh, that's not concrete. That's a concrete slab. And I was trying to go to here, which is cement. Uh, but a good example is if I go here and I assign a route from this one, because this is iron, and set it over to here. So now if I assign a truck to it, it's going to take all the iron out of here and dump it into this particular, particular container, if there's space. And there is, actually. Uh, it is good. All right, so we are building up the, the parts slowly. Uh, like a, we are... Uh, Eventually, going to be researching the uh, the new assembler here, which uh, apparently has uh, a lot faster. Because if you look at it, like it's doing it in f ten seconds here, whereas the tier two, whatever that thing was over here, uh, the electric assembler was doing it in twenty seconds. So it's going to cut down the speed a lot if once I start upgrading all these up to the, the level two. Uh, the coal production is a little on the slow side. I've been thinking about adding uh, possibly another excavator here. So we'll go ahead and do that. We've got two excavators, four trucks, so they're going to be doing this whole big area here. And we'll probably go ahead and expand this a little bit more. Go right to the edge like so. And that's going to get us plenty of, plenty of coal down the road. Other than that, we were doing okay. Had oil problems too. I uh, had to actually get all this, all these connected up into a second refiner, refinery, or distiller actually. And I was having diesel problems because of the extra generators and the extra trucks and all that stuff. And it's just never an inspiring. What is your problem? You cannot reach destination. Oh. Just, uh, how do I get you there now? Hmm. I guess I gotta rebuild this conveyor, build another ramp over here, and lots of fun stuff. Uh, as far as the exploration goes, uh, I don't think we really found much else. Uh, I think we'll probably do some exploring in the next episode. Uh, maybe I'll get some research done and go from there. But, anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And as always, yeah, let's get into a nice view on this. Uh, our little factory row. Camera controls are a little touchy. And of course it's raining. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.